All right, so today's video is simple. We've got the 3030, and we're going to see just how well it performs against every species here on Leighton Lake District. So one of the questions that I get asked most is, what weapon should I buy getting started in Call of the Wild? And generally, I say get the 270 or even save for the 7mm. Uh, we do have some rabbits here. I'm just going to shoot one of these with a 3030 uh, to get them out of the way, just because obviously that's not going to be uh, any part of our test. But I did say every species. So we'll just drop that. Uh, and continue on. So I was looking at the ammo uh, for the 270 versus the 3030, because uh, I know the 270 can actually drop a moose with the polymer tip bullets and hitting a single lung and the heart. Uh, so when you look at the 270 polymer tip stats, 35 penetration and 5 expansion. That's in the bottom right, uh, if you're wondering where I'm looking. And the 3030, despite being classed with the 243 in terms of uh, what it gives integrity on, it's got 35 penetration as well, but 4 expansion, so 1 less. And I wonder if that 1 less is actually enough difference to not drop a moose when we shoot it. So when we get a chance on the moose, that is going to be very interesting. You see, obviously, no integrity, and I've got no consec uh, as well for this hunt, but double lung on the rabbit, so obviously that works just fine. So as we go around South Lake, we'll see what we can get here, or Balmont Lake, rather, my bad. Uh, we'll see what we can get here and then move on and just see, is the 30-30 worth actually getting early in the game? So I decided to leave Balmont Lake because I want to go in order and Coyote are kind of just the starting uh, point for the 3030. If this fails, well, I would probably just click away from the video. But we know with the 243, a double lung shot will actually drop a Coyote. So I expect the same from the 3030. So if this level one female will stop, we will go for a double lung shot and see. And she is down in her track. So as expected, uh, no problem for the 3030 to get that double lung shot and drop her uh, and pretty much give the video a chance. Uh, so, yeah, clean double lung 100% on the quick kill and everything is as the 243 would be. So definitely as good, if not better, than the 243 for coyotes. So moving on to the blacktail, which is kind of one of the species you run into the most as a beginner uh, or just moving around the beginning areas of Belmont. Uh, so we'll see if we can get a spine shot on this guy. That's what I would go for with the 243, so that's what I'm going to gauge the 30-30 off of. I had to go above that blacktail doe, but it did work, and he did drop uh, as expected. So let's just make sure that was all good. Spine shot, 100% quick kill and integrity, of course, since he dropped. And yeah, plenty of penetration to the spine and some room to spare as well. So yeah, not bad. Let's move on to the whitetail. So the whitetail are kind of a small step up from the blacktail. They're a little more difficult to bring down, but with a well-placed spine shot, it should be no problem for the 30-30 to bring it down. Unfortunately, that angle is not that great, uh, but we'll see what we can do from there. With that penetration, I think it'll be okay. Uh, so we'll go for it. I would say that is a spine shot. He dropped in his tracks, uh, and to be honest, I wouldn't expect anything less from the 30-30 uh, than to drop him like that. Um, I know with the 270, you can go through the like kind of shoulder blade area like that, uh, and it's the same penetration with this 30-30, so I figured that would be just fine, and clearly it is. So definitely for the smaller game, uh, the 30-30 will be no problem for a beginner uh, to take down stuff like this. You can see we shot... Uh, through a considerable, considerable amount of flesh before we got back into the spine and still penetrated through the spine a good bit. So a decent little buck there and a good display of the 3030's power. So moving on to the black bear, I feel like this could be the first real challenge for the 3030 and at this point I don't know what to expect. Uh, exactly what's going to happen when we go for the spine shot. I've never actually tried to shoot a black bear uh, in the spine with the 3030 or the 243, but I think just my expectations are that it will actually work uh, and drop it in his tracks or at least get 100% on the quick kill. So when we get an opportunity on this one, uh, we will go for it. We are zeroed for 50 meters and it is actually stopping down there, though I can't really... There we go. I got it spotted. Let's try this. And yeah, it does freeze, but it's going to drop in his tracks. So I do believe that was a spine shot. We're over and check. Uh, but that is quite impressive that it can, in fact, bring down a black bear uh, with a single shot to the spine. And good to know as well. Uh, I'm really getting a lot of respect for this 3030. I'm not really making this video uh, to say the 3030 is the best. I'm really testing it out for myself uh, as much as showing that off. And check that out through the shoulder blade as well and into the spine uh, with a little bit of room to spare as well. So not bad at all. 
Uh, the 3030 definitely has some power for this. I don't know. Maybe it'll be able to take down the elk and maybe even the moose. I don't know because like I said, uh, I know the 270 can and the ammo types are somewhat similar, but does that one expansion difference actually make enough uh, of a change to not be able to drop a moose? I guess we'll find out. So I've been really impressed so far. The fact that it was able to take down the bear was rather impressive, but now we're on to the second biggest species here on Leighton Lakes and he does know that we're here. I'd like a better shot angle than that. I could go for neck and see if that'll actually work, because uh, he is going to bolt rather soon, knowing that we're here like this. There is another bull as well, uh, but I want a really good angle, and I'm not really liking anything that he's presenting me with. Let's go for neck here. Alright, and see what happens. He is dropping somewhat quickly. I don't know if that's going to be 100%, uh, but that had to be a neck shot. Uh, so, I'm not sure. Maybe you do have to hit another organ. Uh, similar to the 270 on Moose, you have to hit the heart. And a single lung, maybe that's the case with this as well, because I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have been 100%. Uh, it should be somewhere in the 90s. He definitely didn't go far, uh, but a single, uh, like, one of the important organs, a single hit on the 3030 with one of those is not going to be enough, I don't think. And yeah, 82% with a middle neck shot, so let's see if we can find that other bull. Uh, and actually go for a heart and single lung shot like I do on the moves with the 270. So we've managed to catch up with a bull elk. I'm not sure if it's the one that we spooked, but it really doesn't matter. We just need one to test this on. And I realized I actually don't know uh, exactly where to aim to hit the heart of an elk. I've never really tried that. Uh, and especially to get the heart and a single lung, although that angle is somewhat decent. Uh, so we should probably go for that. And of course, as I go uh, to take the shot, he does start moving again. So I'm going to have to wait till he stops. Uh, the angle is still okay. It's not ideal, but... It's probably doable. Let's see if he stops again. All right, what do we end up with that? He is dropping definitely not very quickly. I don't know if that was a heart shot or where we hit him because I think a single lung uh, with a 30-30, they actually run really, really far. So I'm curious to see where that hit. Uh, maybe this is the upper limit of the 30-30 or maybe we need to make a better shot. Uh, lumbar spine and thoracic spine is definitely an option as well. It's a very, uh, it requires pinpoint accuracy really to hit that shot. You have to hit the exact spot, uh, where the two spines kind of meet, uh, or if you can get a little more of an angle on it, you get a better chance of hitting one, uh, and penetrating through to the other. But let's see where we hit this before we make that decision. I wonder if that was just a straight heart and not a lung. Uh, I feel like you shouldn't have gone that far, but the next shot was a similar distance, I think. And yeah, that was just a straight heart shot and really the heart on an elk seems like it's like more deep set into the chest cavity. So I'm not sure if a heart and single lung shot is actually feasible. So maybe that lumbar spine and thoracic spine is a better option or if we can somehow manage to clip the top of the lung uh, and the spine as we do that as well, that could work. And I guess the other option we actually have is to go for a double neck bone hit or maybe like a brain uh, and upper neck hit. It really depends on the angle we get here, uh, although that angle is pretty much offering us neither. But I'm somewhat confident after seeing that that heart and single lung maybe isn't impossible, but is definitely way more difficult than I thought it would be uh, on an elk. And if he'll just turn a little more broadside, uh, that could work or just kind of keep walking that way. But I feel like he's going to notice us before he gets to really as broadside as I'd like him. That could work. Let's see if we can get this. Um, uh, maybe? I think we did. He dropped a lot faster. Uh, whoa, I got the, uh, 180 glitch there. So, is that a high bleed rate? I think it might be. What does this say? Uh, yeah, it is a high bleed rate. I think we did hit pretty much the best shot we could have gotten, uh, with the 30-30 on an elk. And what do we end up with? 100% quick kill, uh, hitting that thoracic spine and the lumbar spine at the same time so it's not ideal for elk uh but i wonder because i th i think the heart actually is uh pretty much the best organ you can hit and then a lung uh obviously is good as well so i don't know like it seems very difficult on the elk because of how deep set the heart is but I wonder, will it work on the moose? So this is what we've really been waiting for. We kind of knew the 3030 would be somewhat okay on most of the species here on Leighton Lakes, but the biggest question I've had is about the moose. Will it be able to actually drop it if I can get that lung and heart shot? So we're going to try to call him in. A level 2 male is a good one to try it out on because we should be able to get him good and close uh, and hopefully to a point where we can get that uh, kind of quartering two shot where we can get through the heart and into one lung. So we'll see if we can get that set up and see just how powerful this 3030 is. 
this like perfectly front on angle really is not going to work. Actually, that cow moose just kind of pushed him. So if he'll stop, let's try it. And what do we end up with? He runs off, although he is dropping very, very quickly. I don't know if that's going to be 100%, but it will be very, very close. I'm actually very impressed with that. Uh, so the one expansion from the 270 to the 3030 does make a pretty big difference, obviously. Uh, as long as I got what I think I did, uh, let me check that before I say anything else. Yes, it was a heart and right lung shot, and it was actually 100% on the quick kill. So there you go. The 3030, pretty much classed as one of the smallest weapons in the game, ethical for Coyote and Blacktail, actually takes down this moose with 100% quick kill. Uh, but yeah, the one expansion does make a difference with this exact shot with the 270, which has five expansion instead of four. The moose actually kind of stands there and then drops. It doesn't actually run off. So that is actually really, really cool to see. And I mean, if that doesn't, I don't think anything will validate the 3030 uh, for just how good it is as an early game weapon that you can afford. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you realize the 3030 is actually very viable as a gun, even for the bigger game here in Call of the Wild. I know it's a gun I wish I would have had early on in the game, but uh, unfortunately I was trying to get the bigger and bigger guns. And as I see now, if you can make those accurate shots, uh, even with a small caliber like the 3030, it has plenty of power to bring them down. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end, and I'll see you next time.